Everyone's talking about making NFTs, but how do you actually design one? In this video, I'm gonna show you using Canva how you can take your original designs and really like boost them, spice them up in order to turn them into NFTs. Let's get started. All right, so here we are on my Canva homepage and you can have a pro account like I do or you could have a free account in order to start designing your NFT. So the first thing you do is go to create a design and I like to do a custom design of 2,500 by 2,500 and makes a nice square. I'm just gonna title this Canva NFT design. I actually already uploaded an image that I made. So I'm just gonna scroll all the way down. I use Canva a lot. I upload a lot of stuff and I actually drew this and I took a photo of it from my camera and I uploaded it into Canva. So the background is actually white and I'll show you that if I try to put this background, you'll see there's this, um, the, you just don't want this, right? You want more translucent. So I'm going to delete this uh, background and I'm going to click here and you see this button that says edit image. Click that and hit background remover. So when you remove the background, it will take out essentially everything, everything white. Here's the thing though. I actually want some of this stuff to have some white coloration. So what I'm gonna do is click restore right here and you can actually see there's this like translucent it shows you where all the background has been removed and you can actually change your size of your brush. So this is the current size of my brush and I'm going to try to restore some of the hand. I'm not going to be too precise because this is more of an abstract piece anyway. So I'm just going to kind of go along the lines of what I outlined for the hands and work on restoring it. And also like I'm using a mouse pad on my laptop. Like it's really, you don't need some kind of fancy, um, you know, drawing pad or anything like that. I'm gonna restore some of the sun and uh, let's see what else. Maybe here, restore this. If you don't like something, you can actually hit control Z and they'll remove it. So for example, Maybe I don't want that sun in to for the background to be there. So I put it back and I hit control Z and now it's translucent again. Why don't we keep that translucent then? And why don't we just focus on kind of fixing the hands, getting some of that background restored. This is kind of cool because, you know, Canva doesn't have layers in the same way that other programs like Photoshop does. So this really is one of the um, hacks you can do to kind of just like restore. I'm going to maybe decrease my brush size, just zoom in, take a look at what else I've got. As you can see, there's some that I can fix here. Again, I, I'm not gonna bore you all with being too precise. I wanna just kind of show the possibilities of whoops, what's going on of what you can do here. So yeah, there's a lot you can do. We can go up to the the moon. Maybe give that some dimension. Okay. I think we've done a decent job. Uh so generally if you like what you did maybe we'll also like what the clouds this is abstract it's fine uh that's the cool thing about i hit control z there just to not be so dramatic but when you like what you have you hit done and then you can kind of extend your image to whatever border you want to fit i think that looks pretty good so I'm going to, let's see. I'm going to now check the background. Yeah, so that's not too bad. That actually looks kind of cool. 
that's um so i think i'm going to stick with this and the cool thing about canva is they have a lot of these really great backgrounds where you can kind of change the gradient so this is a really cool way to differentiate your nft designs maybe you make one design and you make copies of this design but just change the background i've noticed with a lot of nfts that um why don't we go with this nice pink one i think is quite pretty um so i like to use my own original drawings when i'm making nft designs in canva they do have some elements that you can use i really like um adding a small graphic animation um usually with shapes as you, if you type in square there's a lot of really cool designs that pop up i think that this one just a little animation can go pretty far in making your nft really interesting i think that's really really neat and say you want something um nice behind that sun maybe you hit gold circle you type that in and there's look at all these really fun options maybe we put this behind the sun and if you if you like that you just uh right click and hit send back whoops let's try to send it back there we go that's kind of cool it's interesting it's just like this animation that's just um really a cool design and if you like that you can you can download it as a mp4 file which i recommend if you're going to be minting this on the blockchain because it's just a higher quality in fact i'll do that right now and as i'm minting or as i'm sorry i am downloading this what we're going to do is um, i'm going to show you that you can very easily hit file and select make a copy and you have just made a copy of your original design so maybe this is nft design two and instead of having this pink background maybe you change it to purple and then you know you can make another you can make another copy and you can change that background to orange as you can see there's a lot of different possibilities of what you can do and you can mint all of these on open sea when you're ready to get that process going. But this is a really fast and easy way that you can start designing your NFTs on Canva and you don't need like a fancy software. Let's check out this MP4 that I just downloaded so you could take a look, all right? And let me just like fit it to the screen so you can see it. Let's play it. I think that's really cool. I think that's a really nice design. It's a really interesting like subtle piece of art and I'm going to totally like put this on my NFT collection on OpenSea, which is in another video. As you can see, it doesn't take that much time to start designing a really awesome NFT collection using Canva. After you have a great design that you want to mint, you actually have to go put that on the blockchain. I have a video on my YouTube channel that shows you how to do this in like five minutes. So go check it out. And please like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.